No, wherever they are, they went and got away. But that does not yet explain what happened afterwards. Well, return to the bathhouse and summarize with Dijkstra. That we can do. I guess in the end I could have done the exploration and the investigation first before trying to go back up to Dijkstra like what I did before, but I was kind of afraid that going down there and exploring would drag me into all kinds of stuff and I wouldn't be able to talk to with Dijkstra for a while. Because apparently he's a busy man. So yeah, Dijkstra, I got some information and I'm not entirely sure how useful this all will be. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? I got some information because I'm done investigating. Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? I might have. Uh, for one, I found one of the corpses of the thieves. Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonz. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Nope. Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Pretty much. Uh, meanwhile, the thieves lowered the treasure onto a boat by the looks of things. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Yeah. The trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Exactly. And lastly, I found pieces of the bomb used to blow the big hole inside of your false wall. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Yeah, this is gonna sound weird, but some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jest. Yeah, and I'm not jesting. I mean, I'm not wrong, it's what I observed. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You have to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Uh, well, the bomb was inside one of the pipes. Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning. The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Exactly. And down the line, Dust was in on it as he was already waiting down in the sewers. Ah, uh, well... Let's see which drain they dropped the bomb down into then. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Thank you. You're honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in me knickers. Then... Don't put a knife in your necks if that's what makes you happy. Sheesh. Alright. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Sure. Count roof and stretcher. Inspect... All the baths. Look for clues about the thieves in the bathhouse side rooms using the world witcher senses. We can do that. Nothing here. Well, that was easy. 
Nope, got nothing. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Okay, did not did not exactly go into this room, but we got a bit of an oil spill by the looks of things. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Yeah. Is that thus what we're looking for? That's what we're looking for. Hi. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, are you sure that Happen is not a suspect? I mean... You might trust him, but just saying, have we considered every possible outcome here? By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault, has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once, too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Okay. Well, that's fine, but let's see what's on the bottom, then. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. The grave of Margrave Henkel. That was the one that he brought the two ladies to, right? Henkel, who is that? Margrave Henkel, who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie. Mm. So the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Ooh, Did he's you got a Doppler. Get a good look at him. No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Yeah. Honestly. This might be who you've always been, but... Seriously? Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. And we're back to the squawking of orders. Well, that's fine. And that means we might be dealing with a Doppler. It's not going to be the same Doppler we've been dealing with before, right? Nah, can't be. Like an excavator uncovering an ancient elven masterpiece, Geralt slowly revealed the hidden brilliance of my plan. He discovered we had not barged in directly from the sewers like brain dead lugs, but had instead struck from the inside by placing a bomb in one of the tub's drain pipes. Hearing this, Dixar summoned his faithful eunuch Happen and had him examine the bathhouse guest registry. From it, they learned the tub in question had been used that day by a certain Margrave Henkel. Nothing unusual about a Margrave giving his corns a bit of a soak, but this particular Margrave had shoveled off his mortal coil, corns and all, a few months prior to the break-in. Dijkstra thus tasked Geralt with examining the Margrave residence, in hope that the Witcher would find some trace of the stolen treasure there. But before we go and do that, I gotta talk to Dijkstra again. Because I want to make sure that now that we've got our orders and we're going somewhere else and we don't have to investigate something and he's not expecting us to return from an investigation. Dijkstra, do you play Gwent? Got a minute. Uh, 
I do. Please. You, you don't play Gwent. Bloody hell. Time was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long. I wanna bloody well play Gwent with you, but one day. I'm sure of it. So, next up, we need to travel to Margrave Henkel's house. But on the way there, apparently, we're dealing with the gangs of Novigrad, where we might be able to talk to Cleaver. Is he on the trail as well? Who knows? The gangs of Novigrad. When Geralt entered the Novigrad bathhouse, he happened to walk in on a meeting of the heads of the city's criminal underworld. Becoming an unwitting participant in their conversation, he learned of the conflict between the triumvirate made up of the King of Beyers, Siggy Rufen, and Carlo Cleaver Fares on the one hand, and Horson Jr. and the unknown powers backing him on the other. Cleaver in particular wanted Horson gone, and offered Geralt help in finding and getting to the bastard, which suited Geralt's interest. They say hands are plenty make for light work, and Geralt had every reason to believe this applied to gang warfare as much as it did to cleaning a barn, so he graciously accepted the gangster's offer. Do we want to do that though? Maybe. Really not sure. I'll think about it once we get there. I mean at the end we can always decline a possible offer of working together. And this would be where we need to be, they... Just inside where? Like, this is a case of how do we enter this place? Like, is this where we need to be? Don't mind me, I'll take out a torch just in case. Uh, yeah, this is not where we need to be. Novigrad can be confusing with its layout. Okay, if I need to be anywhere, it's what a dump. Yeah. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Yeah, definitely. This is the wrong place. Where? I... I'm looking for Cleaver's men. I are they in here? They might be in here. Well, in that case, uh... Knock knock! Is anyone home? I certainly hope so. Okay. Footprints. Yeah. I guess we'll do this first in that case. So, search the house, look for anything we can use, like that. Quite possibly no one needs it. This guy is dead. And he doesn't need any crystallized essence. And he doesn't need what looks to be another bomb. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Hmm. Well, we're definitely in the right place then. Whoever it was, they made use of this Margrave Henkel's identity and did whatever they could to prepare here. Uh, care for your sword, soldier. I'll take that. A soldier can wear a dirty jerkin, rank foot cloths and stained griefs. A soldier can walk around unshaven and can stink to high heaven or even have the mange. But his sword must always shine as if straight from the forge. For in a battle, neat clothing and an eye-pleasing appearance will not save anyone's life. But a sword will, as long as it's well cared for and the man at the dull end knows what he's doing. So how should you care for your blade? Simple, after every battle, wipe all the blood and guts off of it. Take an oil-soaked linen rag and give it a good rub down. If you're fighting in swamplands or in heavy rain, it's worth your while to coat the blade in beeswax. You should sharpen its edges regularly using a good whetstone. And it's important to take your time in doing this. Each movement should be steady and delicate, like you're stroking a virgin on your first night together. If your sword develops rust, it means you're, f you're, a, slovenly, uh, you're a slovenly and lazy oaf. Yeah. I am. Take some sand in your hands at once and scour the blade till the stains disappear. Take heed though not to cut your fingers on the doing, for then you won't be any good to anyone. Exactly. But well, that reminds me, how are my weapons doing? This one is perfectly fine, uh, because I haven't really used it yet and... Well, it's not exactly fine. 
I should fix my weaponry. There we go, one journeyman will wrap him repair kit and Deathwind will still manage for a while. Well, I can use an amateur weapon repair kit. Perfect. Uh, which also reminds me, I should maybe put some runes into my long claw. I'm not entirely sure if I will keep on using it for a long period of time, but... Uh, you know what? Chance to poison might be fun. Let's put some poison on there while we're at it. Alright, so, more books. Do we have any more? Can I get out of here? Thank you. Let's see. Nope, we got those, but it never hurts to have a few copies. And Lands of the North, Velen. The land of Velen, located in Western Temeria with its capital in Gors Velen, is one of the poorest provinces in the kingdom. Its territory encompasses the Isle of Thanet, home to the famous Magic Academy, with which along with Gorsvelen, constitutes the commercial and developmental mainspring of the entire province. Velen is a stop on the Novigrad trade route running through Sidaris, Vergen, Brug, Sintra and other such southerly realms. Velenus subside primarily on agriculture, crafting and animal husbandry. The province is particularly deprived of all natural resources. It contains a great deal of forest, wetlands and cultivated woods, though the greatest part of it is covered in swamps and bogs. That we've seen. Alright. Am I gonna keep getting stuck between two chairs? Dear oh dear. What caskets? Can I do anything with the caskets? Well, I can break it down to timber and iron ore. But, eh. And meanwhile, I'll just keep the silver emerald ring that we got from the treasure vault. Oh. Right, put steps moving upwards and let's see, more caskets. Someone like the caskets. Well, hello there. A letter and a bottle. Okay, I'll take a bottle of wine. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions or series. Interesting. With love from D. Must be dandelion. Born in 1251. Good to know. Meanwhile, do we have anything else? So the calendar bar. Clearly a secret entrance. Okay, 1251. Clearly place it right over here. Yup. Series birth year. 1245 to 1254. Hmm. <laughs> Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Interesting mechanism. Like, how did you construct that? That a specific bottle, probably a certain weight on a pressure plate. It's intriguing, that's what it is. But that thus opens up the path right here. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Yeah. Including the oil on the floor from one of the bombs. Stain. Wyvern oil. And sugar? And also, can I loot? Wild hunt. Thank you. I mean, it's books that I can sell. Um. Okay, first of all, more wild hunt. Instructions on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Kalkstein was in on it too. Dear oh dear. Might that be why he got executed? Instructions on how to build a bomb. Yeah. Signed by one Kalkstein. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Yeah, most definitely. Anything else? We got a note right over here, but other than that? Hunting gauntlet, thank you. This is the final thing. Letter from Doodoo? Siri.
Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Oh boy. Footsteps. Not good. Definitely not. Is there anything we need to get rid of while we can? Dudu Biberfeld. Okay, well, let's quickly learn about that before we continue. Dudu Biberfeld. Geralt and I had known the Doppler Dudu for years. From before the moment we had actually met him, in fact. You see, we first unwittingly talked to him when he was in Novigrad impersonating another friend of mine, a halfling merchant named Dainty Biberfeld. Dudu had assumed Dainty's form to use the merchant's network of contacts for some business endeavors of his own. Dainty was infuriated at first at his inability to locate the imposter who had inserted himself into his dealings, but when Dudu's investments began generating sizable returns, the halfling changed his tune. He took the Doppler on as a partner, introducing him to everyone as his cousin, Dudu Bipperfeld. Siri, Dudu and I had all embroiled ourselves in quite the fiasco, but unlike me, the Doppler was not caught by the Temple Guard. Ah, uh, that is to be expected. But if we can find this Dudu, then maybe we can learn more. But slowly our path is leading us towards the Temple Guard. The one place of Novigrad we've not yet been. But in the meantime, who followed me? Dijkstra and Triss. Hi. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. That's ah, fair. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelair was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Wait, hold up. Why did you, why did you come here? First things first, why did you come here? You sent me here, don't you trust me? Hang on, gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was alright. Concerned to bring the whole party along? You don't trust me. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. That's fair. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. I guess Gentlemen, so. I really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Yeah, fair point. Uh, all signs seem to point to Menge. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. E Mark Ankel is dead. He can't have told me anything. Doesn't matter. What I've learned doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yet you agreed to help me. I am. Doesn't mean I have to confess everything. I'll let your insolence fly this time. But only because his honor, the Margrave, might indeed have something to do with the theft. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So... What now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Hmm, could maybe do that. And in the meantime, you sit here twiddling your thumbs? Mm hmm, so we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. 
Well, I doubt Manga will say anything willingly. I mean, he's quite a piece of work from merely the looks of things. Doubt Manga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. It increases our chances because we're skilled. Treasure and I, that's all in the past, honestly. I'm not going to pretend it's still going on. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit at Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. Some just stay first, friends. First love. Now how the hell? <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. I both Didn't like him. Disagree so strongly. <sighs> I didn't mean to hurt you, honestly, if that's what you mean. I'm sorry if I hurt you with that, but... I... It's complicated, okay? Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hope not. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Yeah. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Uh-huh. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. Alright, see you then, and thanks. By the way, do you mean this midnight, or...? Guess it's slowly getting midnight. We're on a roll right now with all kinds of distractions. Oh. Well, that's fine. And here I was leaving up some space and such. Teleporting is both awesome and... Yeah. Anyway, other than the fact that I both like and dislike our Siggy Rufen or Dijkstra, I also don't like him. I like him and I don't like him. I don't know what to think of him. But a letter left by Dudu contained further revelations. Siri had taken part in the heist as well. The stolen gold had ended up in the hands of the commander of the temple guard, Caleb Menge. And I, Dandelion, was now this heinous man's prisoner. Geralt clearly needed to confront Menge. The question was, how? The cautious guardsman would never agree to a meeting. Unless, that is, Geralt had something to offer him. A prize so tempting it throw caution to the winds. Triss Marigold, foul sorceress and member of the even filer Lodge of Sorceresses, was willing to offer herself up as irresistible bait for this fanatic hunter of witches, putting her life in danger in order to save Ciri and, I dare say, with a thought in her heart for the art-loving denizens of the North, who otherwise risk being deprived of their most prominent bard. Oh, shut up, Dandelion. Oh boy, this is sounding like it's gonna be a bad idea. Yep, I don't like the sound of this one bit. Using Tracer Spade to get information out of Menge is easier said than done, and I truly fear for what will happen if we mess up. This is us walking right into the lion's den.